Greg Sayers was an Irish storyteller and author who became famous for her autobiography, Peg. She was born on Ireland's west coast in 1873 and grew up in a small, isolated community of Irish speakers and her writings live on as a testament to the power of storytelling and the importance of preserving cultural heritage. Peg Sayers was born Mairead Sayers in the townland of Vickerstown, Dunquin, County Kerry in 1873. At 19, she married and moved to the Great Blasket Island, one of a group of islands off the west coast of Ireland. She was one of 11 children born to a family of farmers and fishermen who spoke Irish Gaelic as their first language. <laughs> The two of Sayers grew up in a traditional Irish speaking community where storytelling was a highly valued art form and a means of preserving cultural heritage. This style of storytelling is known as Bailadis, which roughly translates to education of mouth. Sayers' early life was marked by hardship and poverty. She had little formal education, but she developed a love of storytelling at an early age. Her parents died when she was a teenager and she was forced to leave school to help support her siblings. She married at the age of 19 to Padre Gogohin, a fisherman, and they had 11 children together. Tragedy struck the family when several of their children died in infancy or childhood and Sayer's husband was killed in a fishing accident in 1920. Despite these challenges, Sayers continued to live on the Great Blasket Island and share her stories with her community. In the 1930s she was discovered by Sean O'Sullivan, a civil servant who was collecting oral histories and folklore from around Ireland. He encouraged Sayers to write down her life story and she began to compose what would later become her autobiography, Peg. Peg is a vivid and poetic account of Sayers' life on the Great Blasket Island and provides a detailed and intimate portrait of the cultural and traditional ways of her community. The book is written in Irish Gaelic or Gaelge and it was first published in 1936. It became an instant sensation in Ireland and it was translated into English and other languages. Today it is considered a classic of Irish literature and is studied by students of Irish language and literature all around the world. Sayer's writing is marked by a deep love for her community and a profound respect for its traditions and customs. Her stories are rich with details about everyday life at the Great Blasket Island and they offer a glimpse into a way of life that has since vanished. Sayer's writing is also marked by a sense of resilience and determination as she perseveres through personal tragedy and hardship to become a celebrated storyteller and writer. In addition to Peg, Sayer's also wrote a number of other books and essays including Machnav Sian Fein or Reflections of My Grandmother and Skelte on Blasgold, Stories of the Blasket. Peg Sayers continued to live on the Great Blasket Island until 1942 when she returned to her birthplace of Dunquin. In 1958, Peg died in a hospital in Dingle, County Kerry, and was buried in the Dune Queen burial ground in the Ancorcadina region. Her surviving children, other than one named Michal, emigrated to the United States where the descendants are believed to be residing in Springfield, Massachusetts. Peg was a remarkable storyteller and writer who played an important role in preserving the traditions and culture of rural Ireland. Her autobiography Peg is a classic of Irish literature and it continues to inspire and captivate readers today. Sayer's life and work serves as a reminder of the richness and diversity of Irish culture and of the importance of preserving and celebrating one's heritage.